High-pressure researchers, including Carnegie's Dave Mao, have modeled the temperature and pressure needed for transition to superconductivity for three hydrogen-dense metal alloys. All known superconducting materials must be cooled to extremely low temperatures before they become superconducting. This makes them impracticable for widespread uses. However, scientists have found that chemical manipulation and high pressure can raise the transition temperature. The researchers examined three metal hydrides, scandium trihydride, yttrium trihydride, and lanthanum trihydride. In the models, superconductivity set in at pressures between roughly 100,000 to 200,000 times the atmospheric pressure at sea level, or 10 to 20 gigapascals. This is an order of magnitude lower than the pressures for related compounds that bind with four hydrogens instead of three. Lanthanum trihydride stabilized at about 100,000 atmospheres at a transition temperature of minus 423 degrees Fahrenheit, or 20 degrees Kelvin. Scandium trihydride stabilized at about 200,000 atmospheres and minus 427 degrees Fahrenheit, or 18 degrees Kelvin. Yttrium trihydride also stabilized at 200,000 atmospheres, but at minus 387 degrees Fahrenheit, or 40 degrees Kelvin. At pressures higher than 350,000 atmospheres, superconductivity disappeared and all three compounds became normal metals. Yttrium trihydride became superconducting again at about 500,000 atmospheres, but not the others. The scientists attributed this result to its different mass. That superconductivity is induced at lower pressures in the trihydrides makes them more promising materials because they involve temperature and pressure ranges easily attainable in the lab. Dave Mao and his colleagues hope there will be a flurry of experiments following their results and have already begun their own work to test their models. The study was published in the January 25, 2010 early online edition of the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. This is John Strom for the Carnegie Institution.